veriyorum. I um I didn't know if I was gonna come. I'm 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 glad I'm here though. Because I feel like my connection with Dina supersedes this life. And for me, and I know for Dina too, because we had such a powerful connection that what Dina is feeling at this moment, where Dina is at this moment, and the place where Dina will be for a while is a place of peace, happiness, and joy. And that's what Dina believes, and that's what I believe. And there should be sadness, but there also should be a realization now that Dina's suffering is over. That Dina's torment of not being able to move her legs and being confined to a hospital bed is finished. And so, although a big part of me is uh, shocked that I'm not going to have my sister for the rest of my life. There's a huge relief and a huge sense of peace in my heart that Dina is safe, free of pain, and in my opinion, happy and joyous. And I know it may be hard if people uh, don't believe that spiritually, aren't connected to that a belief system, but uh, me and Dina really were connected in, in, in terms of uh, what we believe spiritually. So I think more than anything else, I'd like to speak on behalf of Dina and say, uh, if I could, thank you all for being here. And I think if Dina was here, she would say, I appreciate all of you coming, and this is fantastic. And at the same time, Let's realize that she was in a tremendous amount of pain. Everything happens for a reason, according to Dina's belief system. There are no accidents in illness, in death, and this is all for a greater purpose and a deeper meaning. And just because we're in physical form right now, we may not be able to see that clearly, but a place where Dina is and a place where my twin brother is, that's kid stuff. That's third grade stuff. And uh, I think that while it's natural for us to miss our sister Dina and our, our, for those of you who've known her as a friend and in any other capacity, um, you know, I feel like Dina's spirit is strong. I feel like she's probably alive now more than she's ever been. She can see things crystal clear and she's probably grateful for the experience that she had while on this uh, earth plane for the 45 years that she was here. She's learned great lessons, I know that. We used to have conversations all the time about deep stuff, stuff as far as why she's here, what this journey's about. She used to have a tremendous amount of faith that no matter what, everything will work itself out. And, and she would call me and she would be, she would always say, Jeffrey, I can't believe I got myself in this situation, but everything turned out okay. And we can look at this situation from a certain viewpoint that everything didn't turn out okay. But in my opinion, everything turned out just fine. Dina's back home. She's with my twin brother. She had a very, very uh, a life full of lots of lessons and lots of hardships and lots of joy. And I think that um, from my perspective, Sister Dina is shining down right now. And, uh, I think she's happy that I'm here to set the record straight. And I think that the greatest thing that we can do for Dina right now is to acknowledge that her soul lives on. Her soul shines on stronger than it ever has. She's come into this world um, almost like a true warrior. I've always seen Dina as like a soldier, a, a spiritual warrior who can handle anything 
And I remember sitting on the hospital bed with her, and she said, in her voice that was a little bit different than usual, she goes, can you believe I'm fucking going through this thing right now? It's like surreal. That's what she said, it's fucking surreal. I said, Dean, I just, I go, you know everything I'm it's crazy. She goes, of course. I said, uh, I guess this is just part of the journey. She's like, I know, I just, I never expected to be in this hospital bed with cancer. And I said, well, I guess life takes us on a, a journey sometimes that we don't expect, but, um, and we talked about how everything that's unfolding in Dina's life and my life and everything is, is, is on purpose. And there are no accidents. And Dina, Dina's, uh, Dina believed this wholeheartedly. That's why she was able to go through what she went through. And I believe that's why she was able to say to Lisa, I just wanna go home and die under mom's tray. Because she knew this was not the end. This is just one incarnation. And it was a beautiful incarnation for us that got to know Dina, to respect her. I respect my sister Dina probably more than anybody I've ever known because she lived by her own belief system and she was true to her own heart. And she had integrity and she had joy in helping other people. And I remember when I was a kid, I remember one thing that Dina, when I first started on a spiritual path, we were talking about just the biggest or greatest distinctions that someone can learn here. And we were talking about love. And I remember her clearly saying, love, it makes everybody feel good. And I wrote that on my wall and I hung it up as a quote, love, it makes everyone feel good. And I think that, um, you know, that really is, I mean, it doesn't get any higher in truth than that. And I think Dina's life was an example of that. And uh, I'm going to play a song that uh, I know is one of Dina's favorites. And she always uh, commented on the song. And, uh, and I'm going to leave you with that.